Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, myself Lakshmi Priya is Assistant Professor, CSE Department, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to see a topic called Radix Sort, which comes under the sorting algorithm. So Radix Sort is nothing but linear sorting algorithm, which is going to use by based on digit by digit sorting. Like if you have three digit, one by one digit, we are going to check it and then we are going to sort this particular algorithm. And here if you see, it is a non-comparative sorting algorithm. We are not going to compare each and every element. Instead, we are going to compare based on digit weight sorting. And then this is similar to how you are going to sort based on your student's name. For example, if you have an alphabetical order, if you are going to sort it, initially A will come, then B will come, then C will come. Likewise, digit by digit, we are going to sort in this radix sort algorithm. And this is slower when you are going to compare with your other sorting algorithms like quick sort or your merge sort. And this is less uh, flexible because it is going to compare one by one digit. So we are going to see this is a less flexible sorting algorithm. And if you take an algorithm here, how it is going to work is radix sort of array. Array is nothing but a size of an element that is there. And then maximum is nothing but largest element in your starting array. And then D is nothing but number of digits in your largest element. If you have 3000 something and it will be 4 digits. So D is nothing but your number of digits. And if you are going to create a D, D is nothing but your buckets which will have from 0 to 9 elements that is there. And for I, 0 to D, we are going to sort the elements that is there. Okay. Now we will see one example for this radix dot. So consider the following numbers which have totally 9 numbers. Each number is of 3, 3 digits. So first what we are going to take it from 1s, 10s, then 100s we are going to take it. So initially the red color spotters are nothing but the 1s digit. So we have a list like this. A digit starts from 0 to 9. Based on a last digit, put your numbers into corresponding list that is there. For example, 493. So your last digit is your 3. So put in your digit of your 3, the 493 in your sublist. Similarly, for second one, it is 812. So that last number is your 2. So in your second digit, put your 812 there. Likewise, compare each and every element of your array and check your last digit what it is there. Put in your corresponding sublist there. So that you will form a sublist like this. So after forming a sublist like this, write your sublist in an ordered way. For example, starting from 0 to 9, you are going to write it. So first 710 will be there, next 340 will be there, 812 will be there, 582 will be there, 493, 715, 195, 385 and 437. So now this is your first step initially you have formed. Now what you are going to do is next thing, take these numbers as your array. So this is going to be your array here. Now initially we have seen with 1's digit. Now we are going to see with 10's digit. So in your 10's whatever number is there, based on that number, put in your sublist that is there. For example, 710, your second that is 10's digit is your 1. So in your 1 take place, put your 710 there. Similarly, second one is 340. Your second digit is your or 10s is nothing but your 4. So in your fourth list, put 340 there. Okay. And 812. So 812, your second digit is your 1. So in your 1 is your digit, put your sublist as 812. So likewise, for each and every element, put your elements in your sublist in an ordered way. Once you form an ordered way, then you are going to arrange it in your same another array that is there. So now 710 will be your first number, 812 will be your second number, 715 will be your third number, then 437, 340, 582, 385, 493 and then 195. So this is your second order list. So after forming your second order list or your second array, now we are going to sort based in arrange based on your hundreds digit that is there. Now your third element is nothing but your 7, 8, 7, 4. So whatever it is a red spotter, these are your hundreds plates. Now based on those elements, you are going to put it in your sublist here. For example, 7, 10. So your hundreds place is 7. Put in your 7th digit sublist as your 7, 10. Similarly, 8, 12. In your 8th digit sublist, put it as your 8, 12. So likewise, for each and every element, check your sublist at your first hundreds place and put your elements that is there here. Once you have formed your sublist, now arrange those elements. For example, here 195, 340, 385, 437, 393, 582, 710, 715 and then 812. So after arranging everything, you will finally get a final sorted array. So this is how radix sort will be sorted.
once you have sorted your final sorted array now you are going to see the time complexity so time complexity for this radix sort is nothing but big o of n and d here n is nothing but your size of your array how many elements is there in your array and d is nothing but your number of digits in each and every element that is there so this is your overall time complexity of this radix sort now one advantage of this radix sort is fast when you are going to compare with any other sorting algorithm because it is going to compare an element wise so that is nothing but if your number is very small this particular uh, sorting algorithm will be very fast and also if you see it is a stable sorting algorithm because it is going to maintain the relative order of element with your equal values there so we will say it is a stable sorting algorithm and disadvantage is nothing but it is going to be a less flexible since it is your digit by digit if you are going to have 10 digit for each and every digit you are going to sort it so you will see it is going to be your less flexible sorting algorithm and this is also a slower when compared to your any other sorting algorithm because it is going to decide based on your each and every digit statistic so that is why we will say it is a slower algorithm and then finally application so where you will use this if you are going to sort based on your phone numbers for your area or your for your particular prefixes suffixes for in that case you can use this particular radix sort algorithm and finally it can also use it for your locating your place based on your extensive range that is there so this is how radix algorithm will be used mainly this will be used in your uh, design and analysis or data structure all those sorting algorithm that is there thank you